What a way to start the video, huh? As if this night couldn't get any better. Oh my God. I'm filming. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel again. This is a new beginning. You see that in the background? That's Thailand. Yes, I've moved to Thailand. I'm currently living in Hua Hin and I've been here a few days and I've actually done some herping and filming, but I really wanted to kind of start the video off on a clear and concise note where I kind of just talk a little bit about where we are, what we're going to be doing, and then show you what we get around our house. So Hua Hin, where I've moved to, is not the best place for herping in the country in the sense of it doesn't have such a high diversity of species. We have probably 30 species of snake here, maybe up to 35, depending if you're counting some mangrove ones and ones which just creep into the west where it's a bit wetter. But uh, we're in my driveway right now and the habitat around here is primarily like tropical savanna, agricultural land. It's a very dry area. But despite the lack of diversity, it makes up for it by the accessibility of snakes, which is really good in this area. So you can find all kinds of stuff here just in my garden. It's really incredible what you can find around and that's gonna be the focus of this video. Okay, we're about to head out now. It just turned 7 p.m. so it's just got properly dark. And in my opinion, this is the best time for herping. The roads are a little busy so we might see some road kills, but we're gonna do kind of a mixture of road cruising and walking, which is uh, cause it's like the flying ant invasion at our property. We're gonna save the walking around here for later. We're just gonna drive out on the road and uh, sort of shine about of our torch where it looks good or just road cruise for a while, see what shows up. Um, there's usually snakes around, so uh, I'm optimistic. Let's, let's hop on the bike. It's Mohot's cookery snake, the first one I've ever found in my life. Holy shit. What a way to start the video, huh? Now, I didn't say this in the intro because I was running out of time badly, but there's only a few lifer snakes I can get around Hua Hin. And one of them that I can find right here in my garden is Muhot's cookery snake, Oligodon Mohotai. And this is an adult, by the way. They are absolutely tiny. One of the smaller cookery snakes in the country. Yeah, we'll talk about more about this when we get it in a better spot. We're just on the road right now. So let's park up properly and uh, film. Okay, so after it took a massive chunk out of my finger, here is the look at the Cambodian cookery snake, Oligodon muhatai. Now, the, how you tell this one apart from Oligodon taniatus is those little black spots you see towards the tail. But uh, yeah, this is the first proper lifer I've seen since I've got back to Thailand. And to put it in perspective, these do occur like around here, but they are not common at all. So yeah, really, really special find. I could not believe this was the first thing we found in the video. Like this is a real highlight for me, a really exciting special find. And uh, I'm so glad that we got to, I got to share the excitement with you at the time. But uh, without further ado, we're gonna get back on the road and see what else we can find this night. All right, just road cruise our second snake of the night. And it is a common wolf snake and a pretty big one at that. Okay, so. Here's a nice look at this common wolf snake, like it in Capucinus, aka the insulation or another colloquial name we have for it is the cappuccino, for obvious reasons. Now, as I mentioned, this one's pretty common in this sort of tropical savanna habitat around where we live, but it's the kind of species you never get tired of seeing. They're really pretty, even though this one's mostly got white patterning, it, it, some of them can have more like yellow, which is much more pretty. They're still a very nice snake with a nice shaped head, and I must say I'm a big fan of the Lycodon genus in general. So uh, I'm not going to take any pictures of this one since I photographed a few of them in recent days and they're very common around here. So we're just going to set him back the way he was going and continue on with our drive. We're off to a good start. So much for January being a bad time of year for herping, eh? Okay, so I just spotted from the bike probably the most common snake in the area. You can see it in the bush. This is the long-nosed vine snake, a Hatila CF Nasuta. They kind of stand out from the bushes. They're a much lighter shade of green than, than the grass. And uh, definitely underrated by us because of how common they are. I'm sure we're gonna see several of these later in our complex and many, many more as the videos on my channel progress. So I'm just gonna let this one cruise off. 
And that makes it three snakes, three species so far. We haven't even done one pass yet. Let's continue. Anyway, take three due to interruptions. This uh, freshly hit, still moving Malayan pit viper is a very sad sight for the night. But these are very, very abundant in this area. Um, so I'm just going to chuck it off the road and we can continue not counting this as a live snake for the pass. We're almost done with our pass, by the way. Just a little further to go. But uh, quite a pretty one. Nice uh, orange coloration on the back. It's a real shame. But yeah, I hope we see a live one soon. Okay, so we completed one pass. Three live snakes, one freshly DOR one. And now we're just gonna go for a little stroll around the neighborhood. Um, we got some good vegetation around and to be honest, usually there's a lot of snakes around. So I'll uh, show you what we can uh, find and maybe some little lizards and the other common stuff that's around. So I just spotted the snake and uh, it's a new one for Thailand 2022. This incredibly diminutive thing we're looking at right here is Indotyphlops brahminus, the brahmini blind snake. I was actually just getting the phone out of my pocket because we're approaching a spot which is really good for Malayan pit vipers. And I spotted this shiny worm and the little like shine of the scales gives it away. And I am actually gonna photograph this guy. So I'm gonna pick him up, one second. Yeah, it's hard to believe that this is a snake, but it is. This is <laughs> really tiny. Of course, these are occur in so many places all, of the all over the world, but we're actually finding one in its native range in where it originally came from. But let's keep rolling because like I said, we're approaching a spot which is really good for Malayan pit vipers. And uh, you never know, there could be one there. Oh wait, people have been digging here. This is new. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be any Malayan pit vipers here since this whole area has just been dug out. Okay, let's forget this area for now. Just spotted an iconic Thailand animal. This is a young toke gecko. I remember first coming to Thailand being absolutely like transfixed with these. I was so excited to see them. Of course, we get them in our like rafters of our house and everywhere. So you become very blase to them, but I'm sure for anyone who's not familiar with or hasn't been to Thailand, these are just one of the most amazing animals we get here. And they're huge too. Like this is just a juvenile. And you can see like, that's a big gecko. They get thrice the size of this. We're doing pretty well for snakes tonight. We've seen several species and it's still really early. So I'm optimistic about what our total numbers could be tonight. Things are going very well so far with the lifer species and the endotyphops, which is one I've actually never properly photographed before. Despite I've seen a few in Thailand before, like, I don't know why, never got around to it, but let's keep herping around, see what we can find. What? Oh my God, as if this night couldn't get any better. Adult, many spotted cat snake, Buiga multimaculata. I found one of these in the first night in Thailand, a juvenile when I didn't have enough battery on my phone to film. And I wasn't sure if we were gonna see another of these for a while. And to boot, I've never seen an adult of this species. And I just spotted an adult curled up in this bush. Let's go. This is so good. Okay, I'm just going to get this down gently because these guys can be a little bit nippy. Oh, it's, it's actually big. Now, this is Thailand's smallest boiga and I believe probably the smallest boiga in the world. I can't testify that fact, but I'm just going to say it's very likely that that's the case. But man, what a pretty snake. What a cool snake. It's so nice that we get a boiga, a cat snake species in our garden here. And I'm so glad I got to show this to you in our first video because these do not show up often and they are so cool. I, I, I can't tell you how stoked I am with this because I've been wanting to see an adult of these for so damn long. Of course, I'm not going to spend forever of this. I mean, you guys have got a good look so far and I'm sure it will not be the last one we see here. I'm so stoked with this. What a find. What a find. Look, this is a really cool in situ. Just spotted another common wolf snake. They really are common around here. This one's hunting like inside this tree behind the bark. I'm not going to disturb this one. I'm just going to 
I'm gonna uh, cut this video here and keep moving. Okay, so I just took a little bit of a break, dropped off Cass at the house, and now I'm gonna go out again because it feels so good tonight. Um, the target, I think I'd like to try and show you guys an alive Malayan Pit Viper. That would be a good uh, end to the night, I think, but uh, anything else is welcome. I'll update you when I find something. Okay, I've spotted a snake up ahead on the road, and I think it may be what we're looking for. Indeed it is. There we go. An alive and well juvenile Malayan pit viper, Calosalasma rhodostoma, also colloquially known around these parts as cuddle. I'll explain this now so I don't have to again. In the old version of Facebook Translate, uh, the tie to English translator was so bad, and whenever it didn't understand like a random sequence of Thai letters, it would just input the word cuddle or the word cuddle butt. And for this species, it would always translate the name when written in Thai as cuddle butt. So we just began to refer it to that because it was funny and it just stuck to this day. But I can't get enough of this guy right now. This is such a nice species and one that we underrate massively because of how abundant they are and how many I've seen in my time in Thailand. And by the way, this is, that is the door of my villa right there. Like that's the, the road that leads to my villa. Oh, he's curled up. Obviously these guys are venomous, have very, very potent um, cytotoxic slash hematoxic venom. We have been talking for a while now. So uh, yeah, I'm so happy I got to show you this tonight. Very, very pretty little Calosalasma rhodostoma, AKA cuddle butt. Okay, so it turned out that that Malayan pit viper was the last snake of the night. It's kind of going on like half 11 now and I wanted to be wrapped up by midnight. So I'm fine with calling it a night now. I've got many other nights to explore and see more stuff rather than just milking this. Um, I guess this will probably not be one video, so we'll probably pick this up tomorrow or the day after, depending on when I get out. I want to try and keep these videos somewhat structured. I, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film overall some trips it will be harder not all days will it be easy but this is the start and i hope we can take things good places from here so catch you either tomorrow or in the next video surprise it's not the end of the video so me cast david and his girlfriend moon are supposed to be heading down to southern thailand tonight but we've got like a couple hours to kill uh, waiting for david so we're gonna head out and do some cruises, me and Cass, like one or two passes of the road. It feels like another really good night out. So I'm optimistic we can find something. And if you're seeing this in the video, it means we do find something. So stay tuned. Oh my God. I'm fiddling. We just f***ing cruised a Malayan crate on this stupid ass two bit passing time road cruise we just, just did. And we just road cruised one of the rarest snakes in the area of Hua Hin. I know in parts of Thailand it's common, but around here, this is really one of the holy grail species. And this is why I love to go cruising just after sunset, when the sky is still a little bit light on the horizon. I truly believe this is the best time for herping. And man, I'm gonna cut this video now so we can take care of this, uh, because we're on a busy part of the road and I wanna, and I'll take some better film later. Okay, so obviously we had to take this one home. Just, we were only doing a small drive anyway, but this is just the best, pretty much the best possible thing we could have got at night, barring maybe the like elusive nocturnal King Cobra. But uh, I never usually drive down that way because I don't see stuff there, but I just go down because David told me he found a Malayan crate almost at that exact spot. And I just could not believe it when I saw it on the road. And it's funny, I said to Cass last night that I feel like we're going to see a Malayan crate before we see a python. It's actually happened. And David, these aren't common around here, are they? Like, No. I've literally only ever seen two in seven years in Hua Hin. <laughs> yeah. This one is totally different from the one that David caught in the same spot on the road, though. Uh, that one's got, like, almost no black between the scales, while this one has, like, a lot of black between... In, every white bit and it becomes very yellow. Is your one yellow on the neck, like cream no, color? No, it's no, not, it's is it? It's just like entirely black and white. Which kind of usurps my like theory I had about the regional color morphs because I thought this was like the southern tie. This color looks morph. like a typical southern one. It's got that 
yellow neck. Yeah, the yellow neck and the black between the scales, really, really different from the kind of central time more. Forehead is kind of like an overlap area because it's like on the way to the south, sort of. -ish. I don't pa know. Apparently so. They look like such like a harmless and innocuous snake. They've got those little like stuffed animal eyes. This net like not really the indistinct head. Well, they aren't totally harmless provided they don't bite you. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, you've had a good look at this snake now, and this is just the perfect way to wrap up this video. Me, David, Moon, and Cass are heading down to Southern Thailand tonight. And I'm sure that's going to be great because it's going to be back in the proper tropical forest where there's a huge diversity of species. But uh, yeah, this is a good time, a good way to end the time in Hua Hin.